device. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Run Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at the Pow Kitty X18 because we are going to try to play some Call of Duty Mobile on it. So the X18 Pow Kitty. Okay, I can tell you already, this is not one of the best portable systems you can find uh, combined with Android. There are a lot of different versions, for example, GPD that are way expensive than this one. But it's more like a budget system if you're searching for a cheap solution to play Android games. It doesn't support the Play Store, so there's a little bit of a bummer to be honest. But you can install Call of Duty Mobile Online on this device. So I'm thinking, let's do a little bit of a quick play and let's see what we're going to get and how does it play. Right, so the Pow Kitty X80. It got two joysticks, a D-pad, a lot of different buttons like for example the A, B, X and Y and at the back we are finding four extra buttons we can map. So this device has a very neat feature so you can basically spoof the system and play Call of Duty with a controller. It comes with a 5 inch screen, touch screen of course and if you want to just play it with the screen it's possible but you can also use of course the controller. So I think that is pretty cool. Pow Kitty also supports HDMI out, you can find here at the back. So but it's really cool that you can connect it to your television and can play it like a game console. So that is pretty awesome, that's something we're going to check out. But first, let's boot up the game and let's see how it's running. Alright, so the game is booted up, we're going to play let's, it's a quick match. Very curious how the game is going to run. But I understand of it that the settings of the device are on low and I can recommend you just leave it there. Let's see if we can see. Yes, it's on low. Frame rate medium. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, like already thought. Okay, I skipped the intro or I skipped the tutorial because basically I already done it. Alright, so I mapped it. I'm going to show you in game how to map the device. I'm going to play a little bit of Call of Duty. Right, so you can see that everything is working fine now. I even can shoot with the back trigger. It's very simple when you're pressing the G button over here. You can see you can basically spoof the system. So you can map everything. For example, I want to move the movement is over here. So I need to put it in the same position and put everything like you really want to for personally preference. Save and hide. And that's it. Right, so at the left trigger, I have to zoom in. The right trigger is shooting. Moving, reloading is X. All right, so let's play a little bit. I can already tell you if you're very used to the touch screen. I don't know why this guy is standing still. I'm guessing the server is lagging. I have a very horrible Wi Fi connection over here. Alright, so in the next test, let's play a little bit on the screen itself. Okay, let's see if this runs it, but you can see it's very horrible gameplay at the moment. I don't know if it's the device itself sometimes, because I have played this game on my GPD, the older version, and it works fine on the same internet connection. So sometimes I'm thinking, I have a lot of input lag, and the last time I have noticed something that when I'm moving with the joystick, you see some weird stuff going on. I so notice some weird stuff with the joystick itself. So at the moment, there's no other way for checking it out. But basically, this is just unplayable. Alright, so for the final conclusion. Um, I did notice something is going on with the left joystick. That input was not perfect every time. Oh, I'm about the Wi-Fi, what is very strange, I use the GPD old model and it works fine. Uh, of course, I had a little hiccup here and there because my router is not that very powerful. Uh, but this was basically unplayable with this device and I was even sitting next to the router and it has no improvement. So if you want to use the Pow Kitty X80 or thinking about buying it for a game like this, I cannot recommend it. It's just not strong enough, there is something on with this device. That it make a fun device for let's say basic Android game, but for this, no, not really. 
So yeah, that concludes my video. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time.